Annette Vaughn. I'm a homeschool mom to three boys and a Homeworks by Precept consultant representing BJU Press Homeschool Curriculum. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Science 3, 5th edition. This colorful and engaging curriculum is 90 lessons, so about a semester in length. You can choose to do the course as just one semester or choose to do science a couple of days a week and stretch it out over the course of an entire school year. This curriculum is done from a biblical worldview, which is a fantastic way to approach science. You'll find three specific units in it. You'll find Let's Connect with Earth and Space. You'll find Let's Connect with Earth Science. And finally, you'll find Let's Connect with Physical Science. In just a moment, we'll take a peek inside the curriculum so you can see exactly what's in store for you as you explore Science 3 with your kids. First off, you will receive the student text, which is a colorful and engaging textbook. You'll receive the teacher's edition, which will give you all of the tools you need to successfully teach Science 3. You'll also get an activity manual for the students. You'll, you'll receive an activity answer key. And finally, you'll receive Science 3 assessments, the test packet for students along with the test answer key. Let's look inside a few of these components. Here's a look inside the Science 3 student text. From the very cover, you can see how colorful and engaging this material is. As mentioned previously, this particular course is divided into three units. So you'll see in unit one, chapters on the solar system, weather and climate, and soils, rocks, and minerals. In unit two, on life science, You'll see chapters on cells, tissues, organs, and systems, plants, and several on animals. Finally, in Unit 3 on physical science, you'll see three chapters, which include matter and sound, forces and motion, and electricity and magnetism. Let me show you a sample chapter to give you an idea of how this is set up in the student text. I love how each chapter begins with a big question for the students to think about throughout the chapter. This particular one is chapter two on weather and climate. As you can see, colorful and engaging photos line each and every page to help engage the student. Vocabulary words are in bold. You'll find features such as try it yourself and some quick check questions throughout the book to help engage the reader as they go. I also love the colorful graphics to help illustrate the concepts being taught. Throughout the chapters, you'll also find opportunities for exploration, which are activities that can be done. STEM careers are also highlighted throughout the chapters to give students an idea of some ways that real life science is used in careers. And finally, STEM activities. So as you can see, this is a fun, fun book for students. Next, let's take a look at the teacher edition. And here's a look at the teacher edition for Science 3. This is what you will use as the facilitator to help teach the lessons, and it is so full and rich in content. You can see the table of contents here and details on where you'll find the teachings for each unit. In the beginning, you will see some examples on how biblical worldview shaping appears in Science 3, and I'd encourage you to look through that to see how that is woven throughout each and every lesson. There's some additional information in the front as well that help guide you in planning your lesson. Most of the teaching throughout the book is done through a cycle of engage, instruct, apply, and assess. And this gives you some pointers and tips for that. There's also examples at the beginning of the student edition features. So you can walk through those at the beginning to familiarize yourself with what to expect in the student text as you teach. There's information on the activity guide features, as well as a page that specifically breaks down all 
features of the teacher edition. This is especially helpful as you begin to prepare to teach. I love that a snapshot is given of the overall teaching plan for the year. You can see at the beginning, this is for chapter one, the solar system, the lesson number, the teacher edition pages, the student edition pages, the activity pages, and a list of what objectives you are wishing to accomplish. Anytime you see BWS, that stands for Biblical Worldview Shaping, and you will be able to incorporate that into your lesson as you go. So this is a great way to see at a glance what's going to be included in your entire year. I want to specifically give you an example of what the lesson plan would look like for the same chapter that I showed you in the student text. This is for chapter two, weather and climate. You'll see at the beginning, it always lists the chapter objectives, lesson objectives, materials that you need, vocabulary words, and such. The teacher's edition also includes detailed background information that you can use as you prepare the lesson just for yourself or to incorporate into the lesson as you see fit. You simply follow the guide as you're teaching the lesson, which incorporates many, uh, many questions and answers that you might be engaging with your student to help enforce critical thinking. As you can see, this includes everything that you need to successfully teach a lesson. Now let's take a quick peek at the activity manual. Here's the activities for Science 3. You'll see just by flipping through this that there's a variety of activities that correspond with each lesson or the majority of lessons in Science 3. These are fun, colorful, engaging ways to help the material stick. So in addition to the activities, you'll also get the activities answer key, which you will use as the facilitator to check um, the work. You can just open it up and see a quick viewing of what the correct answers should be for grading purposes. Finally, let's take a quick peek at the assessments. In your textbook kit, you will get a group of assessments, which is, are your tests and the assessment answer key that you can use to grade throughout the course and stop. And here's the assessments and the assessment answer keys that you can use that correspond with each chapter of Science 3. Our family loved going through this edition of Science 3, and I hope yours does too.